seconds received and confirmed. Replicators online. Upgrade in progress. Stand by. Mars is a great environment for a game, as you start with an empty, unexplored map and finish by sending rockets to trade off world. I'm Soren Johnson. I'm the founder of Mohawk Games. Uh, previously, I was the uh, co-designer of Civ 3 and the lead designer of Civ 4. And I'm here to tell you about our new economic RTS off-world trading company. So we love RTS games here. We love StarCraft, we love Age of Empires, we love Company of Heroes. But you know, these are all military RTS games. So although they have their differences, in some way they're all kind of very much the same game. Um, so we wanted to make an RTS, you know, a game you could play with you know, up to eight people in maybe 30 minutes, um, but one that was built upon an entirely different system. And it's about founding a colony on Mars and then running it as a business, trying to make the most money um, and buy at your competition. The games are very dynamic. No two games are ever the same of Offworld because in the background there, there, there's this free market of resources. You know, there's 13 resources, they all have their own price, and the prices fluctuate over the game. And they go up and down largely based off of player actions. If someone is uh, producing a lot of water and selling it on the market, it's going to drive the price down. Um, if everyone else is consuming food and no one is making it, uh, the price is going to go up. So when you play the game, uh, what you want to do is you want to watch the market, watch the map, find out where the resources are, and figure out what's the, what's the best thing to invest in. What's the thing that you can make that everyone else is going to need so you can charge the highest price for it? So most of your business is going to be legitimate, but there are some places where you can do some dirty tricks to take advantage of your opponents. And so, for example, you can hire pirates to uh, shoot down their blimp routes and steal their resources. You can even hire a mutiny to actually take over their buildings and, and uh, steal their production. Uh, you can also use corporate espionage to manipulate the actual prices, so you can cause a fake food shortage to drive up the price, making everyone else have to pay through the nose while you make a killing. So we're excited to bring Offworld to early access um, because we want to see what happens when it gets in the hands of actual players. I think we should go straight into farms and start shooting food. Forget the resource bomb. We'll get EMPs. <laughs> Just blow all their farms up. Okay. We oh my god. A carbon jackpot. You know, we don't want to develop this game in a vacuum. Uh, in fact, we believe that players understand games often much better than their designers do. So we've been playing Offworld for a long time. We've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, but we feel like we'll not, there's no way we'll be able to bring it to the next level until we're able to see what happens once you know, players out in the wild start uh, playing it, enjoying it, critiquing it, and so on. So we hope you help take part in this process. Uh, get yourself a copy of Offworld. Play it, play it, play it. Let us know what you think of it, um, and then help us make Offworld something new and something great.